house that I bought about three years ago and did up myself. So come over and have a look. It's not exactly spacious, but it's my idea of a beautiful house. Of course, it's really low ceilings because people were so short in those days. This is about as English and historic as you can get. We kept all the original beams. This fireplace, even this, is the original fireplace. This is my favourite room. I tend to sit and work on the computer from here. This piano uh, is one of my favourite things in the house and covered in pictures of our life. Uh, this is the library. wasn't here when we bought it, but I think every house should have a library. I'd love to tell you that all the books in this library were Shakespeare or Wordsworth, but actually most of them are just antique books that we bought on bulk. I think they're just beautiful, so uh, they're kind of furniture rather than cultural uh, input. This is a piece of Russian art that Kenny and I saw on lights in London a couple of years back. I'm not really into collecting art. Once you start collecting the art that you really love, then you really do have to lock the doors every night. Uh, the kitchen is through this way. Now the kitchen is a uh, kind of modern kitchen. This is uh, an old-fashioned Arga cooker, which is an essential ingredient to any British old-fashioned kitchen. And for people like me and Kenny, who really are extremely absent-minded, the great thing about this is you can stick something in there like a chicken or whatever, and uh, if you forget that it's there, you're not going to burn the house down. You just get a lot of coal for dinner. Now, Oprah, I uh, have heard that um, when, he, when he appeared on your show, uh, Mr. Tom Cruise cooked a bowl of spaghetti for your pleasure. And uh, not wanting to let the British down, uh, I've uh, asked Noo, my housekeeper, to prepare all the ingredients of a typical George Michael meal. And this is about the extent of it, really. This is uh, where Kenny and I like to have our breakfast. We built this part onto the house to get a great view of the gardens. Here, and I've always wanted to live on the river. And the actual garden itself backs onto this beautiful old 10th century uh, Saxon church, which I think is great. And I've always loved the idea of living next to a church for some reason. Fountain that we bought recently. These are apple apple trees, which actually, the, the apples are delicious. And here, I have to tell you a story now. I live next door to Baroness Buscombe, who is actually um, a member of the House of Lords. And she apparently thought I was going to have lots of rock and roll parties, and so she planted all these trees along here. And I think, um, if, unfortunately, uh, they're probably going to rip up the uh, half of the garden as they grow. But I suppose it's her property. So the pool house, do you want to have a look at the pool house? Yeah. Pool house, which we had built a couple of years ago. It's actually lovely to come out here on a, a summer's evening when it's, when it's still light, about 10 o'clock, and just sit here with all the doors open. It's wonderful. I love these trees. And this is actually, believe it or not, part of the Thames. It joins the Thames back round there. Okay, on my 40th birthday, I got this as a present. It's a, a sundial, which kind of acts also as a uh, compass. Yeah. And this is the man that bought it for me. Hey, guys. So really, the one thing you haven't seen so far is our children. Nick, Abby! Come on, let's go for it! <laughs> you didn't dive! Showing us up. Showing us up, you didn't dive. So, Oprah, this is my home. This is where I live. And I don't know when you're next going to be in Britain, but uh, if you fancy popping by and seeing what it's like to stay in a 16th century British home, feel free. See you then. Bye.